The ray fin fishes are so called because their fins are webs of skin supported by bony spines, as opposed to the fleshy, lobed fins that characterize the class Sarcopterygii. Dapedium is a primitive form of ray finned fish, its strong and pointed dentition suggests that it was Durafagus, feeding on hard shelled animals. Gyrodus lived mostly in shallow water seas. One study links the dentine tubules in Pycnodontiform's teeth to comparable structures in the dermal denticles of early Paleozoic fish. Aspidor inches was a slender, fast-swimming fish. Several limestone slabs have been discovered in which fossils of the pterosaur amphor inches are found in close association with Aspidor inches. Protosphraena resembled a modern sailfish, though it was smaller with a short rostrum, was somewhat less hydrodynamic and adults possessed large blade-like teeth. Its resemblance to living swordfish apparently results from convergent evolution. Leedsichthys was one of the first filter feeding fish, paleontologists believe this is because there was an explosion of plankton in the oceans during this period of time and that led to the development of filter feeding fish like it. No one knows for sure just how big it was. Henderson superficially resembled a marine angelfish with a massive head, and a very spiny pectoral girdle. Different specimens have different arrangements of the horn-like frontal spines. Paloenociforms is not a natural group, but is instead a paraphyletic assemblage of the early members of several ray-finned fish lineages. It has traditionally encompassed most Paleozoic Cactinopter regions. Chiarolepis had well-developed fins which gave it speed and stability, and was probably an active predator. Based on the size of its eyes, it hunted by sight. The ancestors of the Chondrosteans are thought to be bony fish, but that this characteristic of an ossified skeleton was lost in late evolutionary development, resulting in a lightening of the frame. Sorichthys would have made it a powerful swimmer, and it is presumed to have hunted in a similar way to the pike, attacking from an ambush at high speed. Their closest modern-day relatives include the sturgeons. True sturgeons appear in the fossil record during the Upper Cretaceous. In that time, sturgeons have undergone remarkably little morphological change, indicating their evolution has been exceptionally slow and earning them informal status as living fossils. Pelostoi share with other non teleostray finned fish a mixture of characteristics of teleosts and sharks. They are closer to the teleosts and further from sharks, the pair of spiracles found in sharks and chondrostines is reduced in holostines to a remnant structure. The gars have thick ganoid scales typical of sturgeons whereas the bofin has thin bony scales like the teleosts. The gars are therefore in this regard considered more primitive than the bofin. Gillicus had numerous small teeth lining its jaws and ate smaller fish by sucking them into its mouth. Gillicus would also filter feed and were also eaten by their own relative, Xfagdinus. In particular, a fossil specimen was nearly perfectly preserved with a Gillicus inside of it. Xfagdinus probably swam the ocean waters in search of prey and was probably numerous worldwide.
Arapaima is an air breather, using its labyrinth organ, which is rich in blood vessels and opens into the fish's mouth, an advantage in oxygen-deprived water that is often found in the Amazon River. Asian Arauanas are highly adapted to fresh water and are incapable of surviving in the ocean. Therefore, their spread throughout the islands of Southeast Asia suggests they diverged from other osteoglossids before the continental breakup was complete. Elephant nose fish uses electrolocation to find prey, and has the largest brain to body oxygen use ratio of all known vertebrates. Piranhas vary extensively in ecology and behavior depending on exact species. Piranhas, especially the red-bellied, have a reputation as ferocious predators that hunt their prey in schools. Recent research, however, which started off with the premise that they school as a means of cooperative hunting, discovered they are timid fish that schooled for protection from their own predators. Lured anecdotes of attacks on humans about the Kandaru abound, very few cases have been verified, and some alleged traits of the fish have been discredited as myth or superstition. Grass carp spawn in fast-moving rivers and their eggs, which are slightly heavier than water, develop while drifting downstream, kept in suspension by turbulence. Prussian carp are omnivorous and feed on plankton, invertebrates, plant material and detritus. Originally from Siberia, they have been introduced to and are now inhabiting lakes, ponds throughout Europe. This species of Pedocypris is the smallest known fish in the world. The Mekong giant catfish is a threatened species in the Mekong, and conservationists have focused on it as a flagship species to promote conservation on the river. In Thai folklore, this fish is regarded with reverence, and special rituals are followed and offerings are made before fishing it. Sturber's quarry is distinguishable from other Corydora species as it has white spots on a black background on its head, it is native to the Guapo River region between Bolivia and Brazil. Because of their appetite for snails, these loaches can help alleviate snail infestations in tropical fish tanks, though many have reported that while pond loaches do eat snails, they do not eat them at a fast enough rate to deal with an infestation. Kampongo is a large predatory catfish endemic to Lake Malawi, occurring from the lower reaches of rivers to the deepest habitable parts of the lake. The Wells catfish is a large species of catfish native to wide areas of Europe. It is a scaleless freshwater fish recognizable by its broad, flat head and wide mouth. Wells catfish can live for at least 50 years, 